anytime I'm working with hackles and wrapping them, there's a few things that I need to take into consideration. So I've brought in a larger hackle here, so it'd be a little bit more visible. When we look at the hackle, it has two surfaces. That what we refer to as the top surface usually is a little more shiny. And then if we go on the bottom side of it, it's a little bit more dull. The bottom surface is cupped. And so when we tie in a hackle to, to Palmer, for example, with a woolly bugger, where we're just going to be wrapping a hackle around the hook shank, we want that cupped bottom side to be facing toward the rear. Uh, as you progress in your tying, if you get to parachute patterns, we always want that cupped bottom surface to be facing down as we wrap those parachute wraps up and down our post. Anytime I tie a hackle in, whether I start with uh, the shorter fibers further up the hackle, or if I'm going to start with longer fibers at the base, I'm always going to strip off and start with a little bit of bare stem. The reason why that's beneficial as I tie this in here, so I'm tying this in the style of a woolly bugger. Uh, the cupped shape of my hackle is, is facing down and away. And the reason why I do that to get my thread out of the way here is when I take my first wrap I want that stem right here to be the first thing that comes down and around on the hook shank that keeps any fibers from getting trapped and that's going to allow me to palmer that very smoothly that means when those fibers do start to come down on the hook shank that they're going to face in the direction that I want they're going to splay out really nicely and I'm going to be able to work through that process and get a nice smooth palmering all the way down the hook shank so quick refresher, top surface to the hackle and the bottom surface. The bottom surface is a little more dull and cupped. We always want that bottom surface facing to the rear when we're palmering on uh, patterns all the way from woolly buggers to atoms. And when you get into parachute patterns and you start to wrap horizontally, we want that cup shape facing down. Always start with a bare section of your stem so that your wraps and subsequent wraps lay down the way that you want them to.